All right, let's go. This one's called Top 10 Scary Ghost Videos Mama Says Don't Watch. Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. Oh, it's top 10? Ghost in the machine. These next two creepy videos appeared on YouTube over eight years ago and were uploaded by YouTube user Marvin Kagawas. Marvin explains that after his grandmother passed away, strange unexplained events began to occur in his family home. Okay. One night, he captures the terrifying activity on camera. Colin Lynn. I already don't like this. Alvin. Oh. Oh, God. What am I supposed to be looking for? Ain't funny anymore, man. Hell no. Dude, fuck toys like that. What? Alvin. Ain't funny, man. Guys, something's going on here. Alvin. Guys, I don't like this shit, bro. <laughs> Guys, can you hold me? What? A toy that belongs to Marvin's niece activates and plays songs by itself. Marvin is suspicious that his brother Alvin might be playing a prank on him and takes a look around the house. When he gets back to the living room, a lamp hanging from the ceiling is swaying back and forth. Oh, great. Marvin is just done and he runs back upstairs to his bedroom. In another video, Marvin is playing around with the settings on his Xbox One Connect. He discovers the night vision feature and tries it out. Oh, what hell he captures no. is downright chilling. Oh, hell hey no. Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you guys a pretty quick feature of the Xbox One and its Connect. It actually has a pretty cool night vision that I just uh, found today. If you guys already know it has night vision, then I'm gonna show the people who don't know. I'm gonna switch on the Oh God. vision for you guys as you can see it's just it lights up the whole room it's actually a pretty cool feature nah no um, I, they, I don't know if they have no. an app for this or whatnot but uh you also have this uh version of the camera I, I don't know what it is i think it's either infrared or something like that and then uh back to the dark as you can see all you can see is my xbox controller and then back to my vision it's actually Pretty cool feature for the Xbox Connect that I haven't really heard of until now. Maybe they have an app for it. Why is he recording this video? Who is this for? <laughs> Can we talk about how like pointless and random this video is? Like, <laughs> it's for YouTube education. Dude, I don't know, man or something like that but yeah thanks for watching someone or something can be seen standing in the back room but that's Marvin creepy as fuck notice. though dude that's he turns creepy off the night vision and when he turns it back on the figure is gone get out of it get Marvin out of says there he has move no out who or what this could be but interestingly before <laughs> marvin's grandmother passed away this room in the back was her sewing room okay guys if, if you actually saw something like this in your house would you move out or would you like call like a priest or something? You guys would act immediately. <laughs> you guys would move out right away. What if you just moved in? You're actually gonna go through a moving process again. Marvin says his family moved shortly after this incident. So is it a ghost? I leave it up to you to decide. Don't care, priest. Hands off. Oh shit. This next video shows a family spending a fun day at the park somewhere in Japan. 
A young boy dips his feet in the water of the wading pool and trudges along the edge. But there's something else in the water. What? Oh, fuck this. Yo, kid, get back over here, bro. Nah. Bro, what? see it? A tiny little pale hand can be seen reaching out of the water, startling the little boy as he quickly gets out of the wading pool. Now some superstitious viewers of the video believe that the hand belongs to a Japanese amphibious water sprite known in folklore to be a kappa. The what? Often depicted as friendly, throughout history the little water monsters have that been- That fucking thing? Ew! Ew! He's got like the Dr. Phil cut and everything. Ew. To lure and drown victims in ponds and rivers. So could this little hand belong to a kappa? Or could this be something else entirely? <laughs> I leave it up to you to decide. Screams from the woods. Oh, Poch this is creepy as fuck. is a South Korean college student living in Vancouver, Canada, where he streams his daily life and frequently broadcasts. Wait, there's ghosts in Canada? That's actually weird, dude. Do you think like the ghosts like understand Canadian? As his walks throughout the city. Late one night, Young is live on Twitch when he encounters something that sends chills down his spine. Nah. That would be scary as fuck. He's actually streaming on Twitch, guys. Hold on, look at this shit. Look at Look at his chat. He's actually streaming. <laughs> look at dude, this is we this would be you guys, man. <laughs> guys, this is scary shit. Oh my it's god. That was scary. That was scary. What if what if the animal comes out? Walk faster, Why bro. Why is the animal following me? <laughs> faster. Strange loud screams and wails can be heard coming from the woods all around him. Young and his live audience are undecided on who or what this could be. Some think it might just be animals. Some believe it's drunks whooping it up in the forest. And some even think it could be a cult or witches. Witches. Hmm. But what do you think? The light in the mirror. The light Reddit in the mirror. Reddit user Danat Shepard related a very strange story. He said that he woke up one night to a strange light shining somewhere in his bedroom. When he scanned the room for the light source, he got quite a fright. You see, the light was coming from his desk lamp. Oh, shit. But not the one on his desk. It was the one in the reflection in his bedroom mirror. Wait, what? He grabbed his iPhone and caught the strange event on camera. Nah. Now, skeptical viewers claim that it was simply an identical desk in a connecting room separated by what? a doorway. But Danat proved them wrong by posting two wide-angle pictures of his bedroom, Crazy. showing that the lighted desk lamp was actually appearing in a large wardrobe mirror. There is no connecting room. Reddit users went to work examining the video, and they found what looks like a bizarre face in the reflection of the desk. Oh, the hell no! Enhanced. That's creepy as but fuck. But Danat says that he saw nothing else out of the ordinary that night. Ew, bro. Danat rechecked the mysterious mirror for several nights afterward, but the strange light never reappeared. You stayed in there? 
Oh man, I'm booking a new hotel. I don't care. I don't care if it's the Intercontinental. I'm going to a new hotel, bro. I would never. Oh man. That's actually crazy though. Do you guys understand how scary it would be if you were like looking in the mirror and you in the mirror smiled, but you weren't smiling? Imagine how creepy that would be. In over five years and hundreds of Reddit posts, this is Danette Shepard's only post about anything remotely supernatural or paranormal. Well, that's a lot of reading. So what do you think? Did Danette experience an unexplained event? Or is you guys are gonna get ready for bed? You guys are gonna shower, you know, brush your teeth, do whatever you do to get ready for bed. The last second you look in the mirror, you're gonna see yourself smile. Tonight, too. You guys aren't even gonna be able to sleep. You're gonna see you smile in the mirror. Oh, shit. Do not look into the mirror tonight. Is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Doppelganger. Now, this next video was originally uploaded to TikTok, but the account has now mysteriously disappeared. TikTok user Jay Van Gogh says that his mother was taking care of his nephew one night when the boy ran over and claimed that he saw a child that wanted to play with him. Jay Van Gogh says that his nephew was the only child in the house that night. The CCTV footage, and they find this. What the fuck? Guys, do you think babies see ghosts? What was that? What was that? The little boy backs out of the room and seems a bit startled as he looks up at something that we can't see. You guys actually do believe that? And he walks away, but something seems to follow him. Ew. Whatever it is appears to look like him with dark hair and a white t-shirt. The small figure goes back into the room and the boy suddenly decides to follow. Oh, now, God. some believe this apparition to be a doppelganger, a demonic entity taking the similar form of a child. But what do you think this could be? And why did the TikTok account suddenly disappear? That one's creepy. Up to a nightmare. Now, this next video was sent in by a viewer who found it online. The clip is chilling, but unfortunately, the source is unknown. It shows a man sleeping in bed, and then things get weird. Okay. All right. First of all, who the fuck sleeps like that? Okay, this is the guy's first problem. Weird. Who the fuck sleeps like this, bro? Dude, if you sleep like this, you deserve something bad. You deserve something bad to happen. Like, for real. What the fuck? What? Oh. Okay, that one's a little weird. The man is lifted off the bed and awakes in a terrified panic. Then something invisible seems to violently grab his legs, what the lifting fuck? him right up into the air as he desperately tries to get away. Wait, do you guys think that one's real? That looks kind of real, dude. Whatever is holding on to him, then just lets go. The man crawls to the edge of the bed and appears to be in shock. Now, I don't know who this guy is or whether the footage is real or fake. But it has terrified hundreds of viewers who found it online. Dude, what the so, fuck? So, what do you think? Is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Dude, that's you crazy. Decide. I don't know. I think that one Hospital might be real, dude. of horrors. Paranormal investigators Kevin, Fabio, and cameraman Alexis from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto head out to explore an abandoned maternity hospital in Mexico. The sprawling property is said to be the home to many powerful supernatural entities. It is also said that a dark demonic presence stalks the building. Some even claim to have seen the gloomy apparition of an old nurse roaming the hospital halls. The Archivo Extinto team splits up to explore different paranormal hotspots throughout the maternity hospital. Kevin sets out to film inside the hospital's chapel. Meanwhile, Fabio investigates the operating rooms on the other side of the building. 
As Kevin explores the hospital's chapel all alone, he experiences something downright chilling. Downright chilling. What is that shit? What is this? Oh, is that a... Is that a priest oh, gown? Nice yeah, priest robe. I'm so smart. You turned around that slow? Bro, I'd be like... <laughs> Dude, he turns around like this. Bro, I'm hearing that. I'm like... You know what I'm saying? Like... Fuck this! This one's scary. I feel like I'm playing a scary game. Oh! It's on the ground now. Why am I watching this before a scary game? Kevin hears knocking coming from somewhere in the hallway. He goes to check it out, but when he turns back toward the chapel, he realizes that the robe that was hanging from one of the chapel pews a little has weird. now moved and is on the floor right behind him. Chapel pews? Almost as if something was following him. Meanwhile, back over in the operating ward, investigator Fabio is all alone. He begins to hear terrifying noises coming from oh, the- Oh, you guys are saying he dragged it. What look at you guys trying to debunk everything? That is a smart thing though. He dragged the th oh yeah. the operating rooms. The sound seemed to be getting closer and closer. Dude, you just sound scared. You sound so scared, man. Are you okay? This guy's going into cardiac arrest. Something bad's gonna happen. The ghost is gonna target you. If, you, if you're breathing like this while ghost hunting, you're getting targeted. You're just fresh meat. That's it. I swear to God, if that door slams, I'm gonna shit my pants. There's gonna be a pile of shit in my diaper right now. Don't fucking... Don't. Do not do it. I know the door is going to slam. Just please. Something else. No! <laughs> what was that, bro? Fabio is horrified. What actually was that? Scares the living sh out of him. Oh my God. Now we go back to the chapel again. What the again, fuck? That's where it? Investigator Kevin decides it might be a good idea to say a prayer in the hopes that nothing evil will follow the team home from the hospital. That's it? He angles his camera towards himself and begins to pray. Oh. His camera captures something truly terrifying. Let's see what you got. Voy a I will leave the radio on. I'm looking. My eyes are looking at everything here. So he's praying right now. For what? Yo, what? Oh, I saw that. There's a shadow. Oh, 
Santa María, Madre de Dios y Madre Nuestra. Ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. En nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Oh. What is this guy? Hey, man. There's a ghost behind you. So imagine it just like it attacks him right now. Kevin's walkie talkie begins to freak out, emitting random static and sound. Wait, 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 wait. One of the crosses are upside down. No shot. What? No! Nah! No! Nah! What? Bro. Bro, it's literally upside down. Oh, okay, yo, 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 we need sevens, bro. I need sevens in the fucking chat right now. To freak out, emitting random static and sound. Then, as Kevin prays, something or shape can be seen forming right next to him. Oh my god. The creepy apparition appears to be leaning over Kevin, but then it moves away and seems to slowly disappear right into the floor. Soon after this, Fabio radios in and says that he's had enough of the creepy noises over in the operating room. Facts. He says that he has a bad feeling that something might be coming to harm him. The team decides to end their investigation right there Thank and God. head home. You better go home. So did the investigators capture proof of ghosts in the old hospital? Yeah. Could it be something even worse? As always, I leave it all up to you to decide. Exploration gone wrong. Oh, cover Kentucky me. YouTube user Eon Jin from Colorado sets out to explore an abandoned nursing home, completely alone. As you might imagine, it did not go well. Of course it didn't. When does it ever go well? You know what I mean? And what are you recording on? A fucking Easy Bake Oven? Bro, what is this shit? Imagine thinking this is acceptable. Someone or something appears to be lurking in the darkness of the abandoned nursing home. <laughs> Holy and Ian Jin makes a run for it. After calming down... I mean, uh, I hate to say it. Listen, I, I didn't want to, but this is a modern-day android. It really is, which is insane to me, right? We're, we, have, we have equipment on Mars, and androids look like that. It's crazy to me that the camera is like... Tch. Man. And watching his footage, he gathers his courage and asks a friend to go back and surprise again. Not seeing anything. Oh, his camera's better now. I, I saw something. Oh, he actually there. went. He went to the Apple Come Store. On, That's we're, crazy. We're trying to. Right there, right there, right there. See it? What? Remember? What am I trying what to the... see? Oh, what the? What? I saw. I saw that. I don't see that anything. Bro, I'm not joking. Let's get out of here. Come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, bud. No, oh yeah, now now you're scared that there's actually a person. Not joking. <laughs> nah, you're seeing shit, bro. It's actually a person. Bro. You sure? Yes. I can heal him down there. I can't hear anything, dude. <laughs> you're an idiot. You're fucking crazy. No, I'm not. Yeah, he's 100 percent but walks past again. <laughs> it's a real person. Did he just rip ass? <laughs> what? I don't trust this place, man. This place is creepy tonight. Sure it is. Tell you what. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Yeah. Come on. I don't even oh, know what I'm looking at. Back that way. <laughs> See if like they start running or something. <laughs> if he does, I have this. This I'll throw you at him. Whatever it is, I'm just not sure. Yeah, there's nothing there. That's what I'm saying. There's All nothing right. there. I don't see shit, bro. I know I saw something, and no, I'm not crazy. <laughs> what was that? Just like last time, a dark figure comes out of the shadows what and the then disappears fuck? back into the darkness. Ian Jin's friend does not seem to take him seriously at all until whoever or whatever it is comes running towards them, screaming like a maniac. <laughs> the two friends make a run for it and manage to escape the abandoned nursing home unharmed. Now, even if this is not a good. What the fuck was that? 
Oh my god. Bill Star, anything paranormal. That did sound like Blando. This is just some creep hiding out in an abandoned building. Well, to me, that seems pretty scary too. But I mean, I mean it is what scary, do you think but... about these videos? I don't know. Man or ghost? Real or fake? I leave it up to you to decide. You guys think he's a homeless guy? Scary friend. Joe Hernandez from Goleta, California is home alone with his four-year-old son, Nico, oh. when his son begins to see something that he calls a, quote, scary friend. Oh, man. <laughs> scary friend. Scary friend. The light turned on. Fuck that. No, there's something wrong with the kid, bro. You gotta no, no, no. Take him on a field trip. Leave him in a cornfield. Do something. I don't want the kid anymore. If that's my kid, he's gone, bro. Little uh -oh. Nico claims he sees a, quote, scary friend. And soon after, the hallway light turns on by itself. Nah. <laughs> Joe goes to check it out, but finds nothing in... If I got a kid and he does some shit like that, no mercy, bro. I'm putting, I'm putting myself first. I'm, I'm, I'm me. You know what I mean? He's not me. He's him. He can fend for himself. I got to take care of me. He's his own guy. You know what I'm saying? Like the kid can do, do whatever the, do what you want, kid. No one that can explain what just happened. You know what's cringy? Whenever like somebody says some like long shit and they're like, thank you for coming to my TED talk. I hate when fucking people say that shit. Happened. Meanwhile, back in the bedroom, the closet door slammed shut on its own. Yeah, that's creepy Could though. Could it be that Joe's son saw a paranormal entity? A quote, scary <laughs> friend? I leave it up to you to decide. The suspicious screamer. Oh. A seemingly normal night in Phoenix, oh, Arizona shit. turns into a horror show for TikTok user Oscar hanging out with his cousin when he hears something truly bizarre. Oh, oh. What the fuck? A woman screams out for help as she seemingly walks calmly down the street in front of Oscar's home. Maybe she's in trouble. I mean, I guess she's walking. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether I would actually like go out and help or if I would, if I would do the same thing they did. Bro. <laughs> what would you guys do in this situation? Would you go in the house or help? I wouldn't help. Okay, so I'm not I'm not a bad guy if I don't help, right? Run away? Okay. All right. I'm not a, I'm not I'm not a bad guy. Oscar and his cousin think the situation is a bit sketchy and quickly go inside. Oscar says that he had only moved into the neighborhood 4 months earlier and ran inside to keep his 14-year-old cousin safe. Oh. A bit later, in a strange SUV drives slowly down the road in front of Oscar's house. I don't understand this house layout. What am I looking at? Oscar believes the woman might have been a decoy to lure someone out onto the street to get robbed, or maybe even worse. He called the police, but he never heard back. Guys, this scene, scenario, setting, whatever you want to call it, is the most confusing thing I've ever seen. That's weird. But what do you think was happening here? Never heard back Why from the cops? Why would someone be walking so calmly, yet seemingly screaming in abject terror for help? Yeah, I'm going in the house too. I do the same thing. Not... Nah. 
that's fucking terrifying. Another bonus scary video this week. And bonus? Again, it's another Japanese video of unknown origin. Let's go. Now this didn't make the top 10 because again, it's just a little too perfect. So it could be a short film or maybe an ARG. Either way, I thought it was extremely creepy. So the story goes that two guys are visiting a Japanese shrine in a neighboring town. And then this happens. I hate this. I don't like the camera angle, it's scary. <laughs> Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. What is she wearing? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, okay, she's over there. Okay, I thought she was gonna pop up. Don't tell me she runs towards the camera or something, bro. What is that sound? Why? Are they under a bridge? <laughs> fuck, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. Oh, <laughs> this it's a very small shrine. Dude, this is weird because I think we're playing the the game we're playing tonight is is a Japanese game, so this is kind of like a good little segue. What? What? What if, I don't even know what's happening right now. <laughs> you guys think this is real or fake? I know this is an extra clip, but like... Real or fake, guys? Who is coughing? What? Ah! Oh! I hope you're wearing a mask. Nah, fuck this. Nah, fuck this. Oh, I hate this one, bro. Why do I hate that shit? Oh, that's him the whole... I thought it was the ghost. It's this guy the whole time? Come on, bro. I wasn't even scared, bro. That's not even scary. Hey, buddy, get up. Like... Oh god, dude. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Oh, 
tons of key. Bro, how many times are you gonna tie your shoe, bro? I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Oh man. I swear to god. If they turn around and he's tying his shoe a third time, we're gonna have a serious problem, chat. Okay. <laughs> Dude, <th> oh my god, really? Oh, so we waited that whole video just for that.